You are live on YouTube. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Aren't we just a barrel of laughs today? <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So. <laughs> Today we are doing simple two ingredient recipes. These easy two ingredient recipes are quick and easy to make. So quick and easy I'm making, how many am I making? I don't even count how many I'm making. How many did I make? One, two, three, four, five. I think Ooh, I'm making five. you're making five. more than I thought. I think I'm making five. So I am Tara the author of the Dining at a Dime cookbook, along with my mom, Jill. This is my husband, Mike, if it's your first time. Hi. These recipes are not <laughs> in my Dining on a Dime cookbook. They are actually, some of them are coming out in our next cookbook, which hopefully we'll have out by the beginning of the summer. We're running a little behind schedule. Um, hoping to have it to the printer by the middle of March, we hope. Last night, my son Dave and I worked on a new cover no. for Dining on a Dime. Shh, no. <laughs> Volume 2, and it's cool, so cool. Well, you can't show it. Dining on a Dime Volume 2 has a cool cover. Um, so anyway, hardcover, color pictures. All of our books are hardbound in color now. That's all we're printing. All of our books for like cookbooks. this one. <laughs> <our> cookbooks. <laughs> All of our books like this one. <laughs> this is the only book we have right now, but yes. All right, Dining on a Dime cookbook. Um, you can grab it at livingonadime.com. Please give us a thumbs up, a like, and a share right now. Please share, 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 and thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. That helps us with our, um, I don't know what it helps it with, something or another. I don't feel like it's helping with anything. <laughs> it's supposed to be helping with something. What's supposed to be helping with something? Thumbs up. Oh. <laughs> oh, have mercy. Neither Mike nor I are having a very good day today. So once again, I apologize. Please forgive me. <laughs> oh, I just about said <laughs> Never mind. I won't say it. <laughs> Ellen, we have published more than that. We just have only one cookbook that's a print book right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Go down. Here we go. So, <laughs> the, can I go down or can I stay up the These lab? recipes are on our website, livingonadime.com. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yes. um, these are on our website, livingonadime.com. We are um, listed them all there for you, okay? Now, this article on our website is number two for our number one, for number two for our number one <laughs> article. <laughs> this is our second most popular article on our website is what I'm trying to say. And it has over 125,000 Pins, likes, whatever you want to call it, pins, I guess, shares, over 125,000, so somebody likes it. This first recipe is two-ingredient chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and a thing of Italian dressing. Now, here's a little trick that I do with my chicken. I take a really sharp knife, and I poke holes all over it. And I'm sure some chef person is going to tell me that I shouldn't be doing this, but whatever, I do it anyway. Um, and then the marinade gets down in there better, I think. Okay, then just flip it over and do the same thing. Now, this is not one meal for my family. This is how many pounds of chicken? It is um, not quite five pounds of chicken. Um, okay, not quite five pounds of chicken, so this will last us probably four meals, 
three meals and lunches. I don't know. Okay. Um, then you just take your marinade. Oops. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. And here. Let's just get out the big guns, shall we? Okay. There. See how lovely that worked? Just to terrify my mother. <laughs> Which part? Mike didn't even see what I just did. <laughs> what did you do? What were you about to do? No, I saw what you did. Okay, so then you just pour you use the your knife? Italian dressing <laughs> over that and excuse me, I'm sorry. And let it marinate for an hour or so. Now because we're an hour long show, I can't marinate it for an hour and then bake it for an hour. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it straight in the oven. But if you're at home, just let this marinate for an hour and that's it. I mean, six minutes in and you're done. <laughs> that's like super easy. Okay. So we got that one in. That's now, one of the recipes. One of the recipes. Now the next recipe it smells good. The next recipe is um, two ingredient dough. Now, this recipe is going to be in our next Dining on a Dime book, cookbook sequel, volume two, Dining on a Dime volume two, which we are working on currently. Well, Dave and I are working on it currently. <laughs> Mike has got waylaid by <laughs> A new website that we were supposed to have launched tomorrow and let's just say I wanted to be recording Mike when he came home because everyone said oh he's always so smiley oh my <laughs> Mike is not smiley today <laughs> well it's like only rebuilding the car and when the engine and everything's all laying out on the driveway you start to go for a drive right now <laughs> That's pretty much the way the website is appearing to me <laughs> So once we get to driving, we'll think about putting on the wheels and the, <laughs> putting the transmission and the maybe and the engine that. in later. Okay, so this is just um, this is just self-rising flour and um, self-rising flour and uh, Greek yogurt. Okay, I had a moment here and I was wondering if I actually put in the right amount. Okay, I did. All right, so then, um, of course, once again, livingonadime.com. This is where you can get all the recipes. It's in the description below. Okay, so you just mix, mix self-rising flour and Greek yogurt. If you don't have self-rising flour, Right here in this wonderful cookbook called Dining on a Dime Cookbook on page Self Rising Flour 396. It is right here if you ever need to remember it. Right there. Can you see Self Rising Flour? Mm -hmm. Okay. So if you don't have Self Rising Flour, it's super easy. All it is is one cup of flour with a half a teaspoon of salt and one and a half tablespoons of baking powder, okay? So if you don't have it on hand, that's what you do. So then you just take out your pizza dough, just like so. This is pizza dough? Yep. Oh, I, I just made it for you the other day. You loved it. Yeah. You asked me to make more. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here's a little tip. When you're rolling things out already on here, Put a non-stick slip thing under there. Now that's not gonna do me any good because I have my parchment, but it'll at least keep the um, the what is that thing called pan from falling all over. Pizza. Pizza? Oh. Does pizza sound good? This is the dough. You don't want pizza? Okay. Just well, kidding. No. You don't oh, have to. Okay. No, no, I'm gonna have it. No, I insist no. that you eat broccoli no. instead. Pizza is good. No, I think broccoli is better. Subtitles are gonna have a huge huh? <laughs> in discerning his thought. <laughs> okay, so then we're gonna yes. 
No, you cannot have chocolate chips. That's for the fudge. You said yes. ding a ling said yes to okay. pizza. Okay. I said yes to pizza. <laughs> okay. And then you just put it all together. Just a little bit like this. Roll it out. Make it all prettyified if you want. If you don't want, then don't do it. Okay. <laughs> So, let me get this a little bit less. Thinner. Thinner, thinner, thinner. Okay, so there we go for that. And then you've got your two ingredient pizza dough. Okay? Then, if you want to make it into pizza, because, <laughs> you know, why wouldn't you? Because you're making pizza dough. Okay, never mind. That moment didn't work out like I thought it would. <laughs> <laughs> so just take your spaghetti sauce your pizza sauce whatever sauce you want butter and garlic sauce however you want to do it spread it all on here I think I'm using Ellie's pizza sauce for something because I thought it was sorry Ellie okay there you're <laughs> yes uh, what? Step you on stabbed mom. me. What? Sorry. <laughs> Is this chess? Yes. Aww. Okay. I wanted pepperoni. Oh, it's well, fine. I could have got pepperoni, but I it's wasn't fine. Thinking. Okay. Sorry. So then take your mozzarella, sprinkle it all over. <laughs> Whoa. Just like so. And then we're going to put it in the oven and bake it. Okay. Can I ask what a, a somewhat unrelated question about a birthday item for tomorrow? Yeah, I am Sam. I am was wondering, my son turns 17 tomorrow. I'm making a red velvet cake. Do I need to change recipe in the book because I live in Colorado? No. We live in Colorado too. Yeah. No, we live in Colorado. You can add a quarter cup of flour. You can. I mean, it depends. Well, it depends on where you're at in Colorado. If you're out on the plains, you don't need to change anything. If you're in Aspen, then you need to add a quarter cup of flour. Here on the Front Range, where 90% of the people that live in Colorado are, you can just add a quarter of a cup if you want, but I wouldn't worry about it. Okay. Sorry, that didn't really answer your question, did it? But that's just the way my day's going, so I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> now, the next one is I lost my bowl sorry okay here's my bowl the next one is macaroons okay so for macaroons these are so easy once again these recipes are at livingonadime.com and we have them all listed out it's our second most popular article on our website. Oh, yeah, I need to share it. Yeah. All right. Now, one package of coconut and one package of sweetened condensed milk. Yes, I just used two packages because I had like a tablespoon left in a thing of shortening, or I mean, in a thing of coconut. coconut. And yeah, that's what I did. Okay. Take and pour your sweet and condensed milk into your coconut. All right, and I just realized we don't have package sizes on the website, so I may need to add more coconut because I just realized I may have used the wrong package size, which is a correction I'll have to make. Okay, so then you stir it in just like so. Okay, so I need just a little bit more coconut. So I think that it is a, about 10 ounces of coconut is what you need, okay? 10 ounces of coconut. All right, we'll just dump a little more in there. Okay, there we go. Stir that around. This is one of those, it's not rocket science people recipes. Um, we, hold on just a second. What did I get? What is that? There's something. 
<laughs> in the coconut. You put a lime in the coconut. <laughs> okay, did I get it? Okay, this is like really freaky. I have a piece of something in the coconut. What is that? Oh, have mercy on my soul! Come out in the name of Jesus! <laughs> wow, that escalated quickly. <laughs> that escalated quickly. Oh my goodness, I can't get it out. There. What is it? Oh, okay, there we go. Got it. Okay. Do you want to know what it was? <laughs> it was a piece of my hair. So, aren't you glad <laughs> that I got it out of there so you're not gagging on my hair? Okay. Where did my baking pan go? I had a baking pan. Is it the one you took in the oven? Oh, it's the one I used for the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we wish we had a wide shot camera for this one now. <laughs> oh, have mercy. Let's just pretend like, yeah, let's just pretend something. Okay. <laughs> People are commenting on your apron. Thank you. Got this in Massum. Um, England, when we were there visiting <coughs> our now wonderful friend, Crystal, she was a viewer then and offered her lovely home to us, which we had a fantabulous time. I would say Massum and Norway were my top two favorite places for our trip that we took last summer. For those of you who don't know, we paid off our house to celebrate. We went to Europe for seven weeks. Yes, we did. All right, now. That was getting, wonderful. Here we go. Getting all of them in there. Okay. And now the, I have a problem. I have stuff in the oven, but I need to use the oven. So what do I do? Are the macaroons in dining? Uh -uh. They're not. No. Nope. They're not, Ellen. However, I shared the link the post and I will share it again but it's also in the description and on the front page of okay. my site. So then you're going to stick those under the broiler but since I have the pizza in there I'm going to wait until the pizza is done and then I'll put them under the broiler. Next one. Uh, sorry there was one question about a related thing. Uh, somebody oh. asked something about the chicken. Where was it? Uh... Somebody asked, I think, what, oh, Nancy wants to know what other recipes you would make with a leftover chicken. Oh, you could put it in chicken salad. Um, we just eat leftovers as they are a lot of times, and so what I'll do is one night I'll make chicken, rice, and broccoli, and then the next night I'll make chicken with peas and carrots, and biscuits, well, yeah, we don't eat peas and carrots that often, but I mean, I'll just rotate my vegetable and do carrots and cucumbers cut up with ranch dressing, that kind of thing. Um, you can do, just rotate for any kind of salad, like a chicken salad or a chef salad. You can do those kinds of things. Okay, you take your chocolate chips, you take your sweetened condensed milk. Now this is our number one recipe on our website for desserts. It is our 25 Christmas candies and our fudge is in there with it. I think I'm gonna eat it all today. What do you think? I think you better not. <laughs> Oops, okay, so I just made a mistake and put it in the wrong size of thing. So here's how we'll do this now. Whoops, oh dear. Okay. Put it in a four cup measuring, not a two. That was my fault. Okay. So now we are making two ingredients fudge. It is one 12 ounce. It must be 12 ounces. It has to be 12 ounces. It must be 12 ounces. How many, How many ounces, ounces must is it? it be, Dad? 
12. So Amy T wants to know, how many grams is that? <laughs> oh, Amy. I just put the words <laughs> in her mouth. But she actually did say, yes, can you add packet sizes to the website post? That's packets come in different sizes around the world. Okay, and most Amy, of our here you go. Finer. 340 grams of chocolate chips. And then you need about 300 grams of coconut. For? For the macaroons. The macaroons? Ooh, nice. And 12 ounces, I have no idea what that is. No, here, 14 ounces. 396 grams of, just for you, Amy, because I know you're having a rough one. So sorry about your grandma. Seems like all of us are having that issue. There was somebody else's grandparent that died too. Maybe okay, so to come on. stir that fudge. in. I am making fudge. Mm. Ooh, you is like it delicious? sweet and condensed milk? Who doesn't? Mm. I, I don't think like milk people and milk. who are crazy. People who are crazy don't like it. Oh wait, I'm crazy? Yeah, you're crazy. Okay. Man. So then get all in here. <laughs> We're going to stir it all up. Like I said, use a four cup, not a coo cup. This is my, Tara's having a Monday on a Wednesday. So we'll just work with it here. Please give us a thumbs up and a like and share if you guys love us. Because I know you do. Because you keep telling me. <laughs> and I'm so thankful that you do. Okay, now I need to soften this just a minute more. Technically 30 seconds more. Just a minute more is just a saying. I'm technically doing it 30 seconds. <laughs> uh, okay. Nancy was wondering, would you say to keep baking soda in the fridge or freezer to keep them fresh? And how long does it keep to be good? Baking soda or powder? She says baking soda. This is baking, baking soda? Winter. I don't think baking soda. Does baking soda go bad? I've never heard of baking Does it soda ever lose go bad. Its gusto? Probably not. Um baking powder. Did I just curdle my chocolate? <gasps> oh no. Oh have mercy. Are you kidding me? Stick blender time. This is not rocket science, Tara. You Whoa. don't cook the chocolate chips too much. Okay. All right. I don't know, how warm is that? Let's just get our handy dandy thermometer and see here. Well, it's not too hot. Maybe it's not hot enough. Okay, let me go nuke it just a bit more. By the way, guys, Ellie has new vanilla soap. <gasps> it smells divine. And cucumber melon goat milk cream at goatmilkgifts.com. In just a moment, <laughs> you can lick it all. So, did, was it saved? I don't know. We're checking. <sighs> Kathy says all the recipes look yummy. They are. I just am having a rough day today, so nothing is going right, but that's okay. But does my hair look good? It does. I had my hair cut today <laughs> and styled. And Grandma did too. Okay. One more 30 seconds. Martin. I did not curdle it. I just didn't get it warm enough. Oh, Amy says too much steam in the microwave does that sometimes. Yeah. Is that something? Water and chocolate do not mix at all. Water and chocolate don't mix at all. So, if you're making chocolate and you accidentally get a little bit of water in here, your chocolate will be ruined. Um, sometimes you can add a little bit of shortening in there, and that'll help kind of bring it back to life. But, okay, now see how luscious that is. Then you're going to want to take and grease your pan. Just like so, and then 
Look at that go. Oh, yeah. Holy macaroni, that looks good. Now, you can use peanut butter chips, you can use white chips, you can use cherry chips, you can use chocolate mint chips, you can add coconut, you can add uh, peppermint flavoring, you can add peanuts and cherry flavoring if you don't have cherry chips for like a cherry mash type. You can add M&Ms. You can do layered. You can do peanut butter on top. There you go, my boy. Peanut butter oh, on it's top. Warm, really warm. And um, here, a second. Peanut butter on top. Ooh. Now look at this. This camera up, please. Oh wait, wait. Hang on. This is gonna take a second because it's oh, yum. Now, am I the perfect mother or what? Here you go. <laughs> it's really hot. Take it off. Uh, two. Ah! Am I the perfect mother or what? Ah! Don't offer candy for strangers on the street. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Then, oh, hey, have mercy, that's good. Then put this in the fridge and let it sit for a couple of hours. Mike's going to have a little taste test. Hmm. That's pretty good. I don't really think I want all of this. You don't, <laughs> you don't want all of it. No, I don't, it's not that I don't like it. I just need yeah. <laughs> Yes, I know. It's don't a lot. Like it. I was <laughs> contemplating that getting into the whole lot. thing, but I'll wait okay. till it's solidified. We're waiting for That's our pizza fine. to finish, and then I'm going to put in the macaroons. But, guys, that's how quick and easy those are. So which ones did you make? I made macaroons. Chicken. Two ingredient pizza. Ooh. Fudge. And macaroons. And macaroons. Yeah. Was that? Did I do four? I guess I did four. Lisa says you guys are making me hungry. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad. That's good. Okay, so I wanted to read you guys a couple of things because people always ask, "Is dining on a dime actually worth it?" Uh. So, Tara, I used your barbecue meatballs for dinner tonight. Wow! Explanation point in capitals. Ooh. How delicious! More exclamation points. <laughs> My family is raving about them, and I have never cooked anything so good. Thanks for your cookbook, Yvonne. And guess where she lives? Where? Twin Falls, <gasps> Idaho. Idaho. I think it's a sign. <laughs> if we moved to Idaho, would we have a friend? Would Yvonne be our friend well, we if we a, moved I think we'd have a couple huh? friends if we moved. <laughs> Yes, you have chocolate all over your face. <laughs> ah. um, then this one is from Diana, or Diana, probably Diana. I just want to tell you a great big thank you. You're straightforward, turn like it is, yet positive outlook on things have inspired me to grab my situation by the horns. My husband and I have two kids and we live on one income because of unlucky happenings. We owe a lot of taxes back to the government. We now have managed to get a payment plan and your tips on groceries have helped cutting back in those costs. The only thing here is, drum roll, brrr, in the Netherlands. Really? We don't have big deals like you, but our sales, or I mean our tips have actually helped her even though she doesn't have oh, a lot yay, of sales. Oh Diana. Even Black Friday is a big joke, but I found your recipes and your cookbook on Pinterest. They help me keep my meals variable, simple, cheap, and healthy. Yay. Again, a big thank you. May you continue to be blessed so you can bless others. Greetings from the Netherlands. Wait. Diana, I loved the Netherlands when I visited could there. That be thank sister? you. She was Diana, right? Well, yeah, it could be actually. <laughs> Never thought of it. I have a friend who I went to go visit over there. I was going to be an exchange student in Sweden, and I went to Holland first to visit them. Anyway. And then from Ellen. Oh, oh, here it is. Then from Ellen. Um, let's see. She wrote kind of a long one, but she said, I'm talking to my sister about your grocery store, trying to help her get out of debt. Just to let you know, we have paid off 44000 in debt. Woo! That is awesome. Having to replace... And despite having to replace the water heater and brake caliper in January, we had the funds. 
That's awesome. You are going for it, Ellen. You just keep on it. You are just doing so good. Ellen is our faithful viewer. And then one last one from Lori. For rent, we paid $1,750 a month. This is where you gasp. <gasps> for an apartment, though, let's do that one more time. Yeah, you hesitated. Okay, you ready? For rent, we paid... <gasps> no, now you jumped the gun. Okay, hold on. For rent, we paid $1,700 and 50 a month. <gasps> for an apartment located on an upscale medium income town area. We moved to a different state. Uh... I don't, I think this is a typo, but with less places and little access to few stores, but we cut our rent to $764 a month. <gasps> Very good. Slight hesitation, but That's we'll go with that. That's because I was typing. <laughs> we paid off all our old bills and cut, uh, cut them up, so then March is when we will be stress and agony, stress, free of stress and agony. Our bills went from, okay, are you, are, hold on. This is big. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Our bills went from $5,000 a month to $1,800 a month. <gasps> Very good. We are happy campers and don't care if the closest Walmart is 30 minutes away. Yes, away. And don't have a grocery store but a family dollar with a one minute from home. That's what <laughs> we're talking about, you guys. Every time... We say, move if you cannot afford where you are living. And everyone always tells us, well, I can't do that. Well, I have to go 30 minutes to get groceries, or I have to go an hour to get groceries. Guys, they cut their bills by $3,200 a, a month. Wow. And that's not worth an hour's drive. It's like 30 Seven or thirty-eight thousand a year. Twice a twice a month. Put that into calculation. Okay, calculate this out. So they save thirty-two hundred dollars a month, and now they have to drive an hour to Walmart. Every two weeks is a reasonable amount. Of, I live seventy miles from the nearest grocery store, so I have been there and done that. I went even further. So thirty-two hundred dollars for a two-hour drive each month so twice a month let's say i only went to town once a month but let's say you go twice a month do you realize that is fifteen hundred dollars an hour you're saving that's fifteen hundred dollars that you could earn basically just because you're driving a half an hour to the grocery store get together people just like Lori did <laughs> yes dining i dine cookbook living on a dime dot com is where you can find that. And when you say you can move, you mean like you can move to another city. Yeah, or state. Because even if it's expensive where you are, there are places where it's a lot less expensive. And because we've been there and done that. We've, and done, we know. we've done that specifically for that reason before yep. and more than once and it wasn't very difficult. Oh, nice simple pizza. Yay, okay. yum. So there's the pizza and it's yummy goodness. And now, we shall broil the, um, shoot. Well, we'll just go with it. My thing should be up just a little bit more, but if you see smoke coming out, let me know. <laughs> but I think, okay, there we go. All right, comments and questions, my hunk of burning love, you. Oh, yes, yes, sorry. I, uh, I was distracted. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. A lot of these are just comments, but we'll see. Um, we already answered that one. Tori said she had a lovely day on her birthday. Oh, yay! We are trip with Ivan and the dogs. Wow. Beefing good cake for dinner. Yay. Um, let's see. I was looking for it. Oh, yeah. So, Tara's uh, apron. It's from Massam, North Yorkshire, which is a England. a place in the northern part of England where cute, our cute wonderful, town. wonderful friend Crystal. I still think we should have brought that stay. grocery store and moved to England. It was a really amazing little town. I think we should have bought it. Now let's see. Answer the baking soda. Yeah, answered that one. 
Susan, I just love all your aprons and how you coordinate them with your outfits. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, oh, Shelly, Tara, you've taught me to use what I have, and I'm forever grateful. I no longer panic when I don't have everything according to the recipe. It makes for interesting cooking. What's <laughs> yeah, funny that's what is, my family says. <laughs> so many things you can kind of wing it a little bit on, and I think that's yeah. one thing a lot of people don't realize. Yeah. So I have to tell you guys something funny while Mike's looking for the next comment. This is a very sad day. Uh-oh. My tea kettle broke. <laughs> yeah, so we can't make any more ramen. It's still sitting there and it's all its glory because I can't throw it in the trash. No more instant ramen. But here's what's so funny. I told Dave. I told her we could just get on Amazon and have one in 24 hours. I told Dave. Because I am not shopping at Walmart. I am boycotting Walmart now. It's Kroger and Amazon for me. Okay. <laughs> um, here's what's so funny about that, though. I told Dave of the horrible travesty of the dead peapot. And he said, no! And I said, what? He said, no more ramen noodles. <laughs> that was pretty no hilarious. Yeah. Dave loves his instant ramen for his lunches each day. <laughs> So, so Terry is asking, is it cheaper to make Greek yogurt? Yes, it's significant. Well, it depends on how much you pay for your milk. And by the way, that recipe is in Dining on a Dime. If you have dining. In the main dining? Yogurt is wow. on page yogurt. Yogurt is on page 389. Should we put this in the fridge so it can be cooling off? Why do you need it in the fridge so it can be cooling off? So that we can eat it all. Has a um, fudge good sense to you later. Hey, Dave, okay, can you, test the you can do th uh, page right here, 389 yogurt. To make oh, Greek oh, yogurt, right. all you do is line a bowl with a, a flour sack towel or just any towel and let the yogurt drain some of the juice out, what's the, the way out, and then whenever it's the desired thickness after a couple of hours, then you have your Greek yogurt. That's all Greek yogurt is. Greek yogurt is nothing fancy. Um, and then, uh, oh! okay, well, they're Cajun style. Now they're Cajun <laughs> style. How, how do you think that is? Okay. Actually, they might be okay. They probably are. We'll just eat the bottoms off. Because okay. if meringue so, does that a little, it still tastes good. When that happens. <laughs> Get your cheese gravy out. <laughs> slice off the top and eat the bottoms. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, back to the Greek yogurt. Sure. Oh, then sorry. if you're draining your Greek yogurt and it gets too thick, just take some of the whey and stir it back in. Cheryl said, the book is worth it just for the easy to make pie crust. I'm a leftover queen. Yay. Ah! Yeah, so our pie crust is, I guarantee, our pie crust and turkey alone oh, will pay really for your book because those are the two best recipes you have ever eaten in your entire life. Don't use anybody else's pie crust but ours and don't use anybody else's turkey but ours. And if all those recipes are free at livingonadime.com. Uh, Jesse said, <laughs> my mom calls the macaroons haystacks. Yeah. We actually have something similar with, that are all in chocolate that we yeah. call haystacks. Yeah. Okay, so I was going to talk about this, but Heather already said it. So I'm going to go ahead and, and reiterate what Heather said. I got an email from Heather, who lives in a very small town with a very small grocery store. And she got, are you ready? Okay. Butter for 69 cents a pound. <gasps> Very good. Oh, you didn't even hesitate. Perfect. <laughs> Did you just choke on your own No, spit? Amy says Mike's about to hyperventilate. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> uh, she's filling her entire freezer with butter. <laughs> you go, girl. That is a great savings. Here's the thing, guys. My friend Jamie sent me a picture today and she got the um tubs not tubs tubes tubes of cookie dough at the store for 10 cents what at king supers yes 
<laughs> Kroger. So the thing is, guys, there are deals all around. It's just whether you want to look for them or not and drive for them. And sometimes it's not worth driving for them. If in order, in order for me to know if something is worth driving, I will calculate how much gas and how much time it takes me to drive there and how much I will save. If I save more than $20 for the hours worth, $20 an hour, let's say it takes me an hour to drive there and back or whatever. If I save more than $20 an hour, then it's worth it for me to drive to go get it. Kim, okay. Kim Oliver says, hi guys, watching you live from the US tonight. You know, we met her in London. Who? Kim. Oh, Kim. <laughs> yes. Wait, whoa, why are you in the US? I, I was. Oh, she's got family that's here. That's why I asked Oh, if yeah. Family. Her kids are here, I think. <laughs> ah, I wish you could come out to Colorado. We loved visiting with her. It was so much fun. Uh, so, <laughs> Eileen in Ireland says, you're hilarious, Tara. I love that you don't panic when something goes wrong. <laughs> you know why I don't panic? Because something is always going wrong for me. <laughs> She's just learned to kind of wander through it. All right, where did I get the plastic jug thingy? Wonder, I have no I idea what she, that means. I was wondering if she means this. Oh, this? Okay, this I got at TJ Maxx. They have it on Amazon, but don't buy it. You're not liking it? I don't like it. As a matter of fact, I thought about just throwing it in the DAV pile yeah. because, but I need another measuring cup because I've been doing so much recipe testing. Which, by the way, gluten-free, dairy-free bread, number 24. I'm getting closer. <laughs> oh, yay. Ooh. <gasps> and it's not mucky in the middle. I know. What? So, we have a low-altitude, normal person's recipe, and I am doing the finishing touches on the high-altitude recipe right here. Um, found out that the recipe that I'd been testing and testing and testing, it's our altitude that has been causing the problem. So now I'm just perfecting it. I'm not sure what it's related to, but so I, I didn't see where it went. Somebody asked, oh, Albany Mountain Homestead was wondering real butter or margarine. I'm not sure which recipe that was from. Does it matter? I didn't use butter or margarine for anything. Did oh, maybe, maybe they're talking about something else then. Oh, no, what they bought. No, it was oh, real, real butter. butter. Yeah, that no, was real it was butter. real butter. Yeah. It, oh, you mean the sale? Oh I yeah, real butter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Allison says watching from the Caribbean. Oh, we're glad you're watching because then we can be in the Caribbean with you vicariously. You know, I've never been a beach person, <laughs> but I have really wanted to be going to the beach and just sit at the beach for a month. But I'm afraid if I go, I'll pick one of these places where there's like. 50 million kids on spring break because I didn't know it was spring break or something. Yeah, and, and the hurricane will come through at the and same time. And the hurricane will come through. <laughs> that would be my luck. See, now, it would be okay if I went. <laughs> yeah. Does buttermilk spoil, Kathleen? Yes, it can mold, and I wouldn't use it if it molds, but it can last quite a while. I mean, it'll last four to six weeks easy. I am Sam. I am says, I'm saving so much with your grocery e-course. It's working for my budget. Yay. Yay. Yeah, that one's been one that hasn't been seen as much because we've had all the planners and things. And yeah. It's hard to find it. How so. much does it cost to make the macaroons? Let's see. It would be one. Well, I got my condensed milk for a dollar on sale. And then I got my coconut for $2 on, so $3. So a whole bunch of people are asking about why you're not shopping at Walmart. Did you say you're not shopping there at all anymore? I am done with Walmart. Wow. Target ticked me off several years ago, and now Walmart's done it. Uh-oh. Alrighty then. <laughs> but that's okay. <laughs> no, it's not okay. Here's the thing. I went into Walmart today, and there was one cashier open. They had 25 self-serve lanes, but one cashier open. I was not happy. Then, now, every time you leave Walmart, you have to show them their re your receipt for everything. And I get it. People are stealing their stuff all the time. I understand that. But it is a huge pain in the booty to have to do that. And then our Walmarts here in Colorado allow dogs that aren't service dogs in with food. I went in to go buy towels one time and there was dog hair all over the towels. I was so mad. So today, 
I had it. And I told the manager, I said, I'm giving a lot of business to Amazon and Kroger now because I'm done with you guys. Except I saw a thing today and Amazon now is apparently doing stores where they have like no checkers. So you have to do all the self checkout. I would yourself. not shop there. <laughs> and I've never I know, seen an Amazon grocery I know store in real life. In five years, there's not going to be any tellers at all. I totally get that. But I'm just going to rebel until then. <laughs> So just as a ref, uh, just as a summary or a re, what am I trying to say? <laughs> uh, today we were making easy two, two ingredient recipes. Tara made some macaroons and some two ingredient pizza. And what else did you make? Uh, fudge. Oops. Which is outside setting. Ooh. Well, it hasn't quite cooled yet, but. And what else so did you make? There was something else that you made. Pizza, fudge, macaroons, chicken. Chicken. Oh, the chicken's not done yet. Christine asked if it was still baking. Okay. Yes, it takes an hour to bake, so it probably won't be done before the show. Oh, How did they turn out? Do they have a nice smoky flavor? Well, it actually can. <laughs> it tastes buttery because of the, I think it's because of that. Sweet and condensed milk, yeah. Oh, sweet and condensed milk makes it buttery? I thought oh, the... yeah, when you cook it like that, it, the fat in sweet and condensed milk is the same fat that's in butter. I know, but the slightly burned tops. Oh. I don't know. They don't taste burned unless it's the buttery taste. Yeah. Mm. Oh, Sus Susan said you could dip the macaroons in the fudge. <gasps> that would be so good. <laughs> we should go recall the fudge from outside. Um, wow, let's see. Oh, I am saying I also said I is a fan that bought a book 15 years ago and just bought another dying on a dime and is finally trying to get it together. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, actually, like, uh, who was it? Or who was it that was telling you about how she got it? Ellen, right? Yeah. I didn't see, but yeah. So Dave and I started working on the cover and the title pages for the new books coming out. And okay, so d should I break the news to Mike right Not now? Not before tomorrow. <laughs> I'm already gonna flip out. <laughs> Mike's not having a good day today. <laughs> So we were supposed to launch a new website tomorrow. It's not going very well. You do it, I'll go to Ireland. Or France. <laughs> so I don't know if we're going to have our new website launched tomorrow or not. But I'm going to tell Mike this anyway. So do you realize? I don't think you realize this. But as I am frantically testing recipes for Dining on a Dime Volume 2 and the Gluten-Free Dairy-Free Dining on a Dime... Do you know what I realized today? What? You hesitated. Yes. You're typing. Yes. So you're not even listening to me. Yes. <laughs> Are you listening to me? I don't think I want to hear if you're talking about a new project. It's, well, I did come. I came up with a brilliant idea last no. night. Actually, though, I think you guys are gonna love it. I came up with a brilliant idea last night, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet because I haven't even told Mike. Um, I think we're gonna have three books that we are printing at once. Uh oh. <laughs> so we're gonna have to have because a day I to think have by the time Volume Two and Gluten Free Dairy Free Dining is done, I think. Dining number one is going to be sold out, and we're going to have to print it also. So do you know why this is a problem, folks? Because that means we will have 7,500 books sitting in our garage. And do you want to know how many books our garage holds? About 4,000. Yep. Well, so I don't know where we're going to put these books when all three of them come the out. Have the kids haul the pallets down to the basement? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, at one house we did. We uh, did. We brought in boards and it wasn't a big enough house and yeah. we were, so we brought in some boards and we had people at the top of the stairs yeah. and at the bottom of the stairs and we were like sliding them down. Yeah. Was... We, uh, we, um, did. It was a lot of work, wasn't it? <laughs> Which is why my brother refuses to help me move anymore. Not that he could anyway. Here you go, Dave. Um, but yeah. You guys want to see? You want to see my gluten-free, very dairy-free bread? Um, okay. Do you have any questions while we're? While Mike has that scared look. Yes. <laughs> Cindy, no room at your in garage. <laughs> I know. That's 
what we were thinking. So, so we were looking at houses in McCall, Idaho today. Mike wants to go back to McCall. We used to live about two hours from McCall. Look at this. Isn't that lovely? And it's flexible and it's tasty. We have been eating this like crazy. And last night I made gluten-free, dairy-free dinner rolls and they were devoured. You, they didn't even taste like, they tasted like real dinner rolls, didn't they? Yeah, they did. They were really good. So I'm excited because the recipes are turning out really good. <laughs> um, let's see, what were we looking at? Doo, 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 doo. Um, Tara, I, wonder, if I, I feel if I wanted to self-check out, I would stay at home and shop online. Thank you. Yeah, that's true. Uh, wow, is that it? Hmm. What about making lifts? Yeah, to go. <laughs> yeah, Ellen, you're right. Getting it back up the stairs was a big issue at the yeah. time. Although back then we would ship like five books a day, so it wasn't. No, it back was, then we would ship five books a week. A week. <laughs> so it wasn't a big deal, but yeah, now it would be a big deal. Now we ship a lot more than that, but. And and kind of the reason. So our house is uh, one level. It's not a two story. It's like one level and then a basement. <laughs> And we did it that way so Tar wouldn't have to walk up and down stairs. Yeah. So, uh oh, I think I got my sock cut again. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Uh, all right. <laughs> Amy, no room in the garage. Yeah. We want to park there. We want to get our son to... Uh... He seems to think the garage is for parking. I don't understand why you feel you have to park in the garage. <laughs> oh, Michelle says, I want to buy your cookbook. I will share a link just in case. Livingonadime.com. Go to the store. You better buy Good it tonight. Force. You better buy it tonight because you may not be able to buy it after tonight. I told Tara with the new website, I was concerned that the store might not be functioning for uh, a while. Hopefully yeah. as quick as possible. Ooh. Yeah. So with our new website going live tomorrow, it's not functioning at the moment. In... Ooh. Yeah. Benjamin, I made kissy cookies and a giant salad topped with fried chicken bits dipped in peach jam today. Wow. That Holy sounds... cow. <laughs> wow. Yum. Yum. Huh. There's all kinds of... <laughs> Let's see. Drones will be bringing food to your home. You know, BJ used to be a drone pilot, and he yeah. said they were trying to do that, but apparently it ended up getting shot down. Yeah. I mean, the drone didn't get shot down. That was... Yeah, Pun intended. yeah, I get it. Oh, I get it. Get it? Oh, you're so funny. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. What new website? So it's still living on a dime. It's just that we were trying to... Um... We're trying to update it because our current site does not work on mobile correctly all the time. And so we've needed to update it for a long time. But the last time we updated was in 2011, and it was a huge fiasco. And Mike spent six months getting it put back together. That's when we Which moved that, oh, here. Yeah, yeah. That's when we moved here. And that's when, actually, we took the leap, and he quit his real job and came to work for a living on a dime then. And... Uh, it kind of happened out of necessity because the website was totally poofed out and we couldn't get anything to work. And so he had to stay home full time and work on it. And so then he did not end up ever getting another job because we ended up making more money on living on a dime. Yes. Can I have a slice? You may. There's one cut right there for you. Yeah. And so this time I was working on it and just a lot of things aren't really working quite right. So we're supposed to go tomorrow and sit down with the developer. But it's I good. think that between her and Tara, the plan is to go live tomorrow. <laughs> and I was looking at it thinking... <laughs> it ain't working. But I'm one of those people, I just plow ahead and I fix stuff in the in the wake afterwards. Well, what it started out as is, Mike said, I wish I could, I wish I could figure out a way to just uh, reposition this without using a table, which is a certain kind of element that you use when you're doing web stuff. Mm -hmm. And Tara said, well, you should ask somebody for help. So we, we looked to see if we could hire somebody just to give us that bit of information. And then she said to Tara, I think this would work a whole lot better with the whole new thing. And Tara's like, yeah, that's a great idea. And I was thinking, no, that's not a great idea. Which it wouldn't be bad. <laughs> Just because we're trying to get, you know, new books out. We're trying to get like these new books out. If we wanted them for Mother's Day, we were supposed to have them to the printer by February 15th, and it didn't happen. And so it's just a little frustrating but i came up with a brilliant idea for a new product it's not a cookbook but a new product 
last night, ten minutes before bed, while we before bed while we were watching Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> and I think it's a great idea, and I think you guys are gonna love it. But I'm only gonna have six hundred to start with. But that's on the to-do list. So, mom. Yes. I think this is better than your like store, store pizza. <gasps> Dad, you didn't. Dad, you didn't gasp. Okay, one more time. Go ahead. I think this is better than store pizza. Yeah. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> huh? <laughs> you like it, huh? Pretty That's tasty. Good. Oh, Cindy says Jack is such a loving young, lovely oh. young man. Such good manners. He's so handsome. Good mom and dad and GM too. So oh. we've had a problem lately. He's been feeling a little ill, and I told him I knew what the illness was. Lack of kissesitis. It's <laughs> lack of kissesitis. It's a terrible, terrible disease. And there's only one way to cure it, Dad. Kisses. <laughs> yes. Oh, poor Jack. He's like, oh, mother. Yes, you may. Um, yes, so anyway. All righty. Well, I think that looks like all the regular questions. It was kind of a bumpy day, though. I don't. What did you do that was bumpy? I, Before the show well, started. <laughs> I don't think dealing with food people want to actually hear. <gasps> oh, no. Shh. Just go to the, the car store. <laughs> you can just go to the auto parts store and get that stuff you put on there. <laughs> There's a scratch in the. <laughs> I just cut my new countertop. <laughs> oh, you got to be kidding me. This is a brand new knife and I wasn't even thinking. Uh, okay, we gotta move. <laughs> we gotta move now. Uh, what happened? So I have had a stomach illness for the last 10 days. And it's not getting any better. So yeah. Hmm. So I just have not been feeling very well and frustrated because I have a lot to do. Uh... Nancy, Good. someone told a story about the self-check that didn't ring up something even though they processed it on the machine and they wanted to get them for shoplifting. Hmm. Oh, have mercy. <laughs> did we finish watching Poldark and did we like it? So we liked Poldark. Until? Until his wife started <clears throat> messing around. And we were like, okay, seriously? So well, we just quit watching at that point because we were like, forget it. Well, it's basically of... both of them were messing around. And yeah. We're like, okay, yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, he was messing around and she so was, we so I was like, so we un unfortunately it. ended up stop watching Poldark. We haven't watched Sherlock, the the one that's just called Sherlock. Ellie likes, but we haven't seen. Uh, we've been watching. We watched the Basil Rathbone Sherlock Holmes, and then when we got finished with all those, we started watching the I forgot what his name is, the one from the eighties. Um, but we're oh Jeremy somebody or another Jeremy Brett yeah so <laughs> it's funny because we really like the Basil Rathbone ones and then we, Jeremy Brett at first we're like oh he's all right and then after a while like wow I kind of really like him too hi my daily side and Karen you're welcome I'm glad you like the book hi my daily side glad you made it um uh, let's see bandana said yep that's why i told you i stopped watching it also other side stories got bizarre yeah when they start going ridiculous like that i'm like can we not just have a good story i don't know why they don't have somebody make grace livingston hill books into movies that would be good that sounds like an idea for you <laughs> for somebody i have too somebody. many ideas i can't Keep up with the, you can't keep up with all no, my No, I didn't ideas. say for me. I said for you. <laughs> You'll have to rope in a new crew on that one. Yes, this bread is gluten free and dairy free, and it is delicious. I am so excited. It's delicious. <laughs> I'm just working on high altitude adjustments now. So. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, Elizabeth said, "What happened to Jack, the little kid?" He's growing I know. up on us. He's so big. He's not a little kid anymore. He's not going to want kisses for very much longer. He doesn't want them now. I don't want kisses. He doesn't want <laughs> just, kisses now. They turn kidding. 10 and they want no, no more kisses. I, I want kisses. No, it's okay. I understand. I have had two other boys before you who broke mom's heart, so I understand. Oops. Oh. I mean, yeah, Colony I'm thinks... an extrovert. They were all introverts. That's true. <laughs> so I'm different. He's just oh. crazy. 
Kaloni was suggesting that I use the garage for the man cave. Oh, whatever. She's going to kick me out of even the garage. <laughs> I can't even have a man cave. My man cave has to be outside. <laughs> I could set well, up a The garage tar- is going to pay for your man cave in the new house. How's that? Oh, hey, do you promise? You no. guys quote her on that. I get a man cave in the house. <laughs> so anyway. All right. Well... <laughs> <laughs> All right, please check out our Dining on a Dime cookbook at livingonadime.com. Please give us a great big thumbs up. Please like, subscribe, and share. We will be back on Monday. And, and if you want yeah. to see if there's a website at livingonadime.com tomorrow, you can. Come tomorrow night and see if we have a website. We <clears throat> may or may not. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hope you have an awesome night. Goodbye. An awesome day down under. Bye. Yeah.